happen. If you buy cheapo cookware, you're gonna get that kind of frustration that everybody experiences. So that's why we like to offer one full set every time Michael and Liz are here. This to me is the most bang for your buck you're gonna get. This is normally $139, today it's only 99. And I love the fact that we didn't do like a 15 piece or a 12 piece, it's cast iron. You've got wonderful cooking bodies that can do most of your work. So I oversell you more than you need. This is what you're gonna need to get going with cast iron. So let me show you the set itself. First of all, we're gonna start you with a two and a half quart covered brazier. Look at the beautiful colors and I love that Liz picked out and created these beautiful colors because they're, they're, you know, they're not screaming. They're, they're warm, they're comforting colors. They're a great look, right? I mean, I don't need polka dots and all. This is cast iron. This is my manly cookware, you know what I mean? I want it, I want it to be durable and I want it to be beautiful. And it is. So this is your, uh, this is your uh, smaller brazier. It's the perfect size for like four to six people if you're brazing, whether or not you wanna make a soup in here or whether or not you wanna put a small pot roast in here. You know when you're just cooking for two people or four people? I don't need a 10 quart. I need something that's gonna hold it well. This is also great for serving. If you wanna do a giant scallop potatoes or if you wanna do mac and cheese for the kids, it's ideal. They put the helper handles in because this comes right out of the oven, it's gonna be hot. And, it's, and remember, cast iron is substantial. It's not featherweight cookware. That extra weight is what allows it to hold that temperature, so that's an important part of, of uh, enameled cookware. In addition to that, we're also gonna give you the three and three quarter uh, quart covered casserole. I love this pan because for me, this is the pan that you're gonna cook in and bring the food out to the table in. You can do a lasagna in here. You can do giant pasta dishes. And remember, you know cast iron? Wonderful if you put it in the fridge and use it for salads because this is gonna stay cold as well. So it really does double duty there. That comes with a lid, perfect. Now you'll notice that we give you this lid which also will work with your saute pan which is over here. And you'll see the lid works perfectly there. This is great for everyday meals, whether you're sauteing, uh, you know, um, just dinner items or you're doing breakfast, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you get everything. And then we give you the brand new trivet, which allows you to take your super hot cookware out of the oven or off the stove and bring it right out to the table. Now the colors I have available are the burgundy, which you see on the bodies of most of the cookware. I also have it in taupe, I have it in gray, and then I have it in that beautiful blue. And you can see, I'll actually kind of just lay them out here so you can see them all and they are gorgeous, all right? Uh, all of these are, are gonna last you forever. Uh, and by the way, really quickly, if you're a brand new customer at HSN, come on and walk with me. We have a $20 gift card with a brand new HSN credit card, which would make that price $79.95. Are you kidding me? All right, let's go back. To Michael and Liz, I smell I something miss cooking. You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I miss you so much. It was Where ridiculous. Have you been? I didn't. Miss, I kind of miss Michael too, but I miss Liz. <laughs> Liz is. She's. I go to my right. Liz is right well, there for me. One. I know you're. You're. He, although he's pretty fun, I have to tell you. No, he, anyway, he's, he's fun. Um, so we we talked earlier about about why we use cast enamel. This is probably the best example of why. Oh, sure. stay. I mean, <laughs> when, and you know what's funny, Michael? A lot of people think that people in the restaurant only cook steak one way. When you sear it like this, yeah. that crust is that's, crazy. That's what, you know, like uh, when, when you make a steak, really the key to a great steak, whether you're out on the grill or you are in your kitchen, is forming that beautiful crust on top. That's sure. really what makes the magic happen. So like with this, I had this going. Oh my God. And look, there, there's the crust. Yeah, hello. And it just released again. And you could build that sauce in the pan. So I could add the onions to it. I could add my mushrooms to it. And we could oh. put some garlic in there. Oh my Lord. A little bit oh, of course. pepper. Uh, whatever we want. I have some flat leaf parsley. And then I could make the sauce right with the steak. And again, we'll deglaze right in here. All the flavors will pull up and we just have this beautiful pan roasted <laughs> ribeye, which yeah. gives you a steakhouse taste that you really don't get always at home. It's, you so, know? it's so interesting to me and fascinating. And, and when I first got into the restaurant business, I worked with chefs, um, not like Michael, but you know what I mean? Working in chefs and, and, and stuff like that. I was so amazed at where the flavor was coming from. Right. You know, and you wonder why is a steak better? Why is this better in the restaurant? Because they know these little tricks. Right. And they use the right cookware. Yeah, the, 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 like, your tools are important. The, our soul. Yeah. I mean, the, the greatest trick that restaurant chefs have that people don't, you buy the best quality 
product you can when it comes to the meat, the vegetables, the fish, all that thing. And then you have the right equipment to cook it in. Yeah. That's it. That's the secret. And then some basic techniques. You know? Look at that. And, we, and you can see right there, because it's cast iron, notice we're getting that great uh, caramelization. It's, it's creating all that fond, that, that little brownie bits that are in the bottom. And then simply by adding a, a, a liquid, and it doesn't have to be wine, it could be stock, whatever it is you like. And then that brings up all that flavor off the bottom. And so now you've got this dish that comes out and it's unbelievable. And you are doing that in the comfort of your own home. It's the same as how they do it in the restaurant business, only they have the access to tools and now you do as well. Right. So you've got the big 11 inch going. Liz, what do you have going here? Well, I'm gonna just make a little couscous for myself. <laughs> he's, he's got his steak. I've got my couscous. A lot of couscous, a lot of couscous so I just for one actually, person. I know. Right? Well, I'll share with you. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, you know, saute up some vegetables yeah. here. Um, there, there was just a drop of oil in the pan. Sure. I mean, honestly, you probably wouldn't even need any at this mm -hmm. point. I like it just for this. a little flavor, too. Right, you know? exactly, exactly. And then I'm just going to drop my couscous in here. So you're going to get those really, that really nice spring veg. Yeah, that's not going to be good, is it? No, oh it's my gosh! Be awful. And I love peas and green know, beans and all that. Some asparagus. Things. And then spring I'm just going to put yes. a little bit of stock in there. Okay. Stir that around a bit, and that's and pretty much that dish is done. Put that lid done. on there, and we're done. Exactly. We're good to go. So I love this lid that comes with this. Now, one, you can use it on both pans, which is nice. So it's you know, two two for one. But it's got this little steam release here, yeah, which is great. Um, I'm going to turn this up just a bit so yeah. I get a little bit more boil. And on remember, it. you don't have to you don't have to go screaming high on on your burners with this because this conducts heat so well. You can cook most things, especially when you're simple, just on low. Right. So you're saving energy right. there. Exactly. All right, Michael's going to be upset if he doesn't have his beauty I know. reveal oh, here. Oh, it's Come on, Michael. Just, again, Liz is smarter than I am, so with the design, she put <laughs> pores on both ends. Yeah. So whether you're lefty or righty, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, you know, I'm okay matter. with one hand, but it has the it has a little the helper, helper hand if you need it, right. and then the spore. Pour, pour spots, you go right out with the sauce. Oh my lord. And again, here's the beauty of cast enamel as opposed to maybe a traditional cast iron or not. Like it just releases, yeah. wipes the, out. Show the cleanup. And that was, and that was very, I mean, he, he okay, had that on a, there for a long at, time. Yeah. So. And you're good to go. And if you need to add, put it in soapy water, after that, you could throw it right in soapy water. Yeah. yeah. But, and if you haven't noticed, uh, my husband slash Michael likes to cook on very high heat. I must so say, you know, really well, he's, in there he's a restaurant guy. He's got to get. He's got to pump it out. When he's in but, a restaurant. But it's nice because even you know even he's not being careful. He's cooking like he's in a restaurant. So, <laughs> it, it, but you know again you can throw that right in your sink too. Yeah. I never. I have cast iron. Never goes in the dishwasher. I'm like, well, I can. It's, I it don't cleans it easy. I don't even bother. Uh, yeah. Then I got to bend no. over and I don't want to deal right. with that anyway. Yeah. So right. I do it right like that. Now you just heard Michael go over to the oven. If for no other reason on this planet that you buy the cast iron for its ability to go from as we said, stovetop to oven to tabletop, this is why you get it. Because it's, like I said, it's oven safe to 500 degrees, okay? You don't have to worry about it. Most of your ovens don't even get that hot. If they do, that's the top out max is 500. Right. So you know you don't have to worry about that. But when you look at what he's got going on here. I mean, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Well, I wanted to show the versatility, too, of the pans. Liz is making this beautiful couscous in there yeah. with the spring vegetables. And that's going to, in four minutes, it's going to be ready because this conducts the heat so well. Right. We put a pork roast in the oven about 45 minutes ago. Like you said, 425 degree yeah. oven. Let it go. And now I could pull this beautiful roast out and I have all the renderings oh of that gosh. roast in the bottom of the pan. So again, Gorgeous. now I could start to build things right. if I want to put a little jus on my roast. Katie, what do you have over here? Maybe some green beans? Oh, we could make green beans. You know, beans. and with something like a pork roast, and you some know pork, onions. pork itself doesn't have a lot of inherent flavor. It's really kind of what you do to it. You know what I mean? You got to season pork. it. Don't you be talking oh, wait, about I don't know. I don't have, I don't have access to that. Did no, I love pork. Did right. about pork? Did you ever, did you ever <laughs> like, like a pork? If you take a pork <laughs> chop and you broil it, it doesn't, right. I mean, you have right. to put something on yeah, it. Yeah, you have to, well, that's why, you know, these pans are so great because you're going to yes. get that really nice caramelization from them just, you know, like they, you know, oh. like a professional chef. So yeah, I, I did. I almost danced on his pork. I, I watch your, <laughs> I watch Bur Burgers Brew Q. I know how much pork is on that I show. Have a pork problem. Why don't they just call it pork <laughs> and Michael? Uh, Michael That's and what it should be. Pork and Michael. Yeah. So, but look, so I pulled it out and now I have a side dish that I could make in here too. Yeah. Green beans, onions, some walnuts, a little bit of sherry wine. Oh, beautiful. We need to is. bring this home for Easter brunch. Right? Oh I'm gonna make gosh. it. <laughs> but look, here's another thing that we made. Liz and I, in our travels, a good friend of ours, um, 
showed us this wonderful cutting board called the tranche cutting board, okay. where it has a little valley built into it. Mm -hmm. So you could, I take the, the roast out and I could cut it on this board and all the juices are gonna run right down in to the tranche. So oh, look at that. it makes a natural like au jus <laughs> with, with that you could just you set it in your meat right I know, the there. tranche. Yeah, the French the tranche. 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 Yeah, tranche. it's very good, you know. <laughs> I say sometimes you like the tranche because it's so delicious. <laughs> hey, do we? I sound like Wolfgang right now. Do, and I believe we have the tranche no, available. I don't. <laughs> don't we? Yes, we do have the tranche uh, available. And you see it right there on your screen. That's $29.95. I'm going to get that. I, that's a great idea. It is a really And it's beautiful. Like board. the wood, like again, yeah. I leave this out as well on my counter just, hey, you know. It, you guys, you want to go to the phones real quick? We've had oh, sure. Uh, yeah. Is it, is it Dallas? Let's go to the phones. Dallas from Dallas is her name, and it's from New York. I can't see the. Whole and you're calling in. Hello, Dallas. Welcome into hi. HSN. Say hi to Michael and Liz. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good, morning. Good, morning. Good, morning. good morning. Liz. Liz, I heard about you for a long time. Now I'm seeing you for the first time. <laughs> okay. I, you, I know it's early, but I'm doing my best. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you for bringing these light pans for me. I got to skill it. Okay. Oh, Great. are you enjoying it? Yes, I bought the skillet this morning. Oh, oh. beautiful. Oh, good for you. You're going to love yes, it. Now, Thank you. Now, Dallas, what do you... I bringing more light stuff. Oh, we will. What do you like to cook, Dallas? What's your favorite thing to cook? Oh, here, I'm from the West Indies. And I love to cook. I cook everything that Michael cook. I was looking at him on the chew. And yeah. I love to cook all those types of food. Oh, well, yeah. good. Well, I know you're going to love your cast iron cookware. Uh, and thank you, Dallas, so much for calling and watching. We appreciate it. Thank you. Bye, thank darling. You. See you later. I bet she's got some wonderful Bye. recipes, too. Oh. You know, I mean, oh, it's, oh my gosh. And, and that's really the nice thing about cast iron. It is very user-friendly. And, and a lot of people got, you know, cast iron got a bad name a long, long time ago because... Most chefs had it, you know, when the blackening craze was out and everybody, sure. you know, we all had that one big cast iron pan because the cast iron needed to be seasoned. It needed to, to you know, you had to scrub it and clean it. But the enamel, the speckled enamel, it, it changes everything. It really does. Right? I mean, you can see it like these, these nuts are burning. That's a sugary so nut. So this is, yeah. yeah, this is just a lot of brown sugar and rosemary and spices and which are making me cough a little. <laughs> but, That's all right. but the beautiful thing with this is that these little silicone lids, can also be used, you know, as a trivet, it can be used as a lid, but right now I'm gonna use it almost like a sill pad. So I'm just gonna oh. take these nuts and they can just cool right on this and nothing's gonna stick to the to the um, silicone mat. Gotcha. Get all those And I'll good spread bits. it out a little all bit. Right, beautiful. And we're gonna let these kind of just yeah. sort of dry out and set right, up. Right, exactly. Beautiful. And then you, you know, and then they, they just kind of pull apart and then you don't get anything sticking to these either, which is By amazing. the way, the mat, and I failed to say that at the beginning of the mat, I might have said it, it comes with okay. it. Um, and it's designed to because we know, oh good, I did. Jared said I did say it. All right, it comes with it because remember, these pans have the ability to hold temperature for a long time, okay? It's cast iron. Um, cast iron uh, uh, stays hot for a long time, so when you take it out of the oven and you bring it to the table, you're not gonna wanna put it right on the wooden table or right on a, on a Formica top. You're gonna wanna put it on a trivet because it's hot. Now, if you use it cold, don't worry about it, but that's why we give you that to go along with it. Um, talk to me really quickly, and I'll ask Liz about this, about the shape of the, um, of the big, no, the big one. The big large one, the one that's coming up later. Yeah, just we're coming up I know up on you did later. different shapes on yes. all the cookware too. And I just wanted to mention, so this is an oval shape, mm -hmm. and this is the uh, the roaster that we have coming up in yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, that's the Dutch oven that's yeah. coming up. So you can, I mean, the nice thing about an oval shape is it has a little bit more interior room sometimes, so you could jiggle stuff around, whether it's a whole chicken or something like gotcha. that, it kind of fits okay. right in it. Here, the other thing I wanted to show you is, here's what we really love about the cast enamel. Liz put so much time into the design and how they look with the color, the little sparkle in there, the shimmer. I, we, we, I cut up the roast pork, I put the green beans, I kind of mixed it with it. We made a little walnut and parsley salsa verde that I'm just gonna top this with. And you go right to the, put the trivet down on the tabletop. We have those trivets. The trivets, you put them right down on the tabletop and it's ready to go. Now, if you wanted to keep this hot, if your, your guests weren't there yet, yeah. you drop a lid on it, this is gonna stay 
at the temperature you need to serve it for for about 30 minutes out wow. on the table. That's right. So it just makes life so much easier when you're entertaining. You could just put it out there, put the lid on, it's gonna hold the heat, and you don't have to run around like a crazy person once your guests get there. Especially holidays, right. like you know, on Easter well, the, when you got everybody coming gonna, over. That's what I was gonna say. I mean, look how beautiful that looks. And we just like to serve right out of these pans. And we do a lot of, you know, Sunday supper and yeah. about, you know, holiday yeah. cooking. And so this was my couscous too that I was, you know, putting together earlier. How beautiful so is I mean, that? oh my god, that's it. And then you just give it a little fluff. I added a little bit of parm to this and a little bit of herb, fresh herb. And again, and like this will be gorgeous, yeah. just sitting right at like table. a buffet style. And, yeah, and leave it in dinner. that pan for right. heaven's sake, because and look, that can look right on the trivet Pearl. on that silicone mat. Nothing's gonna, you know, harm your counters your table, it's great. Here's the other, good. this is one of the six pieces of the trivet. One of the things right. I love about the trivet, it's a trivet, it, you could also use it to grab the oven like this. What you need this. to do. And I've been using it too at home a lot yeah, to cover to, things. Does it sit on top? Yeah, you could it'll sit, sit on right on top. Look. And it could go into a stove to what? Like 475, I yeah. think would be a, a it, safe yeah, it's, it's, They say 500, but I always say around 475. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not gonna, it's really, no, it's great for covering things that are already hot and bringing them out to the table. It's also ideal if you have picnic items, because you know the flies get in your food, sure. you can cover That's it for that. Idea. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it really, really protects smart. everything. And I tell people, because I'll, I'll be God's honest truth, I one of my cast iron pieces I have from you guys, I use for shrimp cocktail. And I put a little ice on the bottom, and the thing stays cold yeah. all day. Because it holds, it, it holds it. hot, it holds cold, whatever it is you want to put in there. Love these That's pieces. Now, trick. here we are using, uh, this is the two and a half quart covered brazier. What do you got in there? This is great. Well, see, like Lizzie made that very beautiful, healthy couscous. So yeah. I'm going to bring back bring to back. reality with some home. mac and cheese. <laughs> so this, we have a beautiful cheese sauce going. Who plays the bad guy? I'm going to add some, I'm going to add some bacon to it. Um, and then a little bit more cheese. Okay. I am just a healthy right, human now, wait, being. Hey, where's Shannon now? Yeah, yeah. right. Well, yeah, that punk She's Shannon should missing. come out now. And oh this my is gosh, a great, Michael. here again, I like doing sometimes, I like doing the stovetop mac and cheese instead of the baked one. So I have some shells oh, here. I'm gonna Lord. add the shells to oh, my bacon Lord. cheesy sauce. Look at and that. we're gonna stir this all together. Now at See? this point, you could do one of two things. Because this is oven safe, you could go in the oven with this sure. and bake it. And you Put some bread not a cereal, or something? yeah, yeah. Put sure. breadcrumbs on top, not a worry in the world. But what I do sometimes, because sometimes your oven gets that full, and because these almost work like an oven on your stove, because the way that they conduct heat, I kind of mix it all together. Yeah, and then I take some already toasted breadcrumbs oh, and you know sprinkle them on top. He's getting, he's more wow. evil. Look at this. this is, <laughs> He's this right. is my Midwest oh, coming out. That's so oh, yeah. you know, oh, look, Lizzie, look, I gotta put on some green just Oh, yeah, look, there's the your vegetable. Okay, <laughs> there you go, now it's healthy. Is parsley <laughs> a vegetable? <laughs> Parsley's a vegetable. <laughs> Michael has vegetables with all his sure. mac and cheese. And again, <laughs> you, you could go you right. You just add a green bean? <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's green good. bean for garnish. That's right. We are in the perfect place. Hey, you place. got a salad before you eat it, you're fine. But that's you could, right. You could exactly. go in the oven with it at 350. Again, because it conducts heat so beautifully, you could make it right on the stovetop, yeah. yes. and then you pull it right either out of the oven or off the stovetop on your trivet. Look it up, beautiful. And you serve it just like that. And again, it has a lid. So if you need to get set before your guests get there, the yeah. key to happiness with entertaining is you enjoy your party as much as your guests you do. do. Absolutely. So if you just take it, you pop the lid on here, 30 minutes you have now, to, and it's well, still going to be at a beautiful serving time. I, I love and again, look at all like this that. gorgeousness. We, yeah, and I was just going to say, I mean, it all looks beautiful you, you and have it coordinates. Our entree is sitting right there, and now, my, now Michael and, and Liz can have a glass of wine or a beer or whatever they want to do, and the, and the people can come <laughs> feed themselves. You cook the food, you know what I mean? What do you want me to do? Serve it to you? Come <laughs> out and get it yourself. It's a buffet. I, mean, so I know, I love mac, a buffet. So the beautiful macaroni and cheese inside. Look at, look, look at it's still, that. Michael, it's still, it's bubbling, still bubbling, and it's not on the heat. Yeah, we are off. The stove and it's still bubbling. And that's wow. the beauty of even the trivets because they're also cast enamel. Yeah. So they actually get the heat from the pan and act as almost a little warmer. Look so that's this. nice. Beautiful meal, right? The, the trivets are oven safe also. So even if you wanted to warm the trivet a little yeah. bit, sure. just to kind of conduct the yeah. heat. Let me yeah. tell everybody really quickly again what we're doing. So normally when we do our feature set, 
um, you're talking $139. If you order it today, it's only $99.95. I mean, that's ridiculous. And Michael knows and Liz knows from, from all the restaurants that they own together and all the businesses that how expensive cookware can be, okay? And you're getting a full set here for $99.95. You could, spend, you could go buy one saute pan and spend $99.95, and you're gonna get some nonstick that you got that, that, you know, that you, you don't know what's on it, whatever. You know what you're getting with cast iron. You know it's gonna last virtually forever. If you get an HSN credit card today, you get two perks today, right? You get $20 off if it's your brand new card, making that $79.95, and you get extra flex, which means we break the payments up so we spread it out. It'll only be $16.66. Um, listen, be like Dallas who called us earlier. You heard the excitement in her voice. Cooking should be fun. It should be relaxing, and when you have tried and true cookware like this, only with all the better updated features of being the, having the non-stick, virtually non-stick enamel inside, right. you will love this. And I love it too, because when you're doing hearty meals, you need something that can really hold the heat and not burn the food. Like, like I, I saw, you know, whether you're doing the mushrooms there, I do, I do uh, stuffed cabbage. Right. And you know, once mm. you get a fill a pot of stuffed cabbage, you really can't stir it. You gotta leave it and let it cook, and, and yeah, it would and burn if I right. used a cheap pan. Yeah, you it know, would. You can't you get lift up stuff. And, and, it's yeah. rolls. But again, like again, like you saw, Liz made this beautiful uh, Greek yogurt cake oh my because gosh, it just this, seats, morning, just this I, morning. I made she was this up very Katie. early because <laughs> the cast enamel conducts heat so beautifully. The cake cooks evenly. Right. I mean, look at yeah. I'm look just at the bottom. And, look, and you can look see at the there is nothing wow. in here. Like that just released. Beautifully golden brown releases yeah, right there. out. I actually did in. make that for you. And look, you could even pull some of those nuts off your yeah, soap. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my god. I mean, this would just be amazing. They're just gilding the lily over here. Yeah, but. Michael, you want to put a mint leaf on there so we get some <laughs> green in there? Yeah. We get some vegetables. <laughs> look, I'm making leaf. vegetables right now. Yeah. So here we have some stuffed mushrooms. I believe there's sausage in there. There is. Attaboy. But then it's a stuffed but mushroom. So I have a stuffed mushroom. I put in a little bit of sausage just to keep everybody happy, just to keep me happy. Right. Um, and this has been baking in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. And you could see there's all that great caramelization oh. and stuff in the bottom wow. of the pan. And like you I were saying earlier, too, when you do your uh, stuffed cabbage, you have to worry about them burning. This burn, not burns, but this caramelizes in a good way. And again, we're gonna build that sauce. Oh my God. Look so at that, see we just color? hit it with I a little at, bit of white wine. Look at how that comes up. I mean, you can just see, see so this that looks, beauty. Right. Yeah. Again, this is the perfect visual of why stuff in restaurants tastes a little bit different. We poured white wine in here. Look at how it's this beautiful caramel color now. Oh my God. That's because, and this would never happen in a nonstick. All that caramelization that formed on that bottom of the pan, and when we're being fancy French chefs, we say the fond, have now pulled themselves up into the sauce. So that's really where all the flavor comes from. So I'm gonna pull out a plate, just so you guys can get the food. These look so good. They, they smell, crazy. I mean that wine. I think it's all about the wine. And oh, man. it's all I about the pan, honey. I love a good wine oh, sauce. <laughs> and these just pop right out. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, so, and that's the beauty too. I mean, this came right from the oven, and you know, now it's going right on the stove top to and finish up. And so you're scallions. not, you don't have to use like 42 pans when making a dish. No, it's a one pan dish. Right. And I put some of those scallions in there. Beautiful. You don't even need any butter <laughs> or anything else because wow. that sauce, look at the color of that sauce. It look looks like this. It, it looks wow. like a reduction sauce that I've been working on for days. Yeah, that's And gorgeous. really, all that happened, and this is because of the pan, it, the pan heats evenly, that caramelization forms, the wine hits it, wow, and you that get so a good. sauce that, put that looks, one up there you too. would, in a yeah. restaurant, Got it. $40. Oh my gosh, you know, look at that, the, guys. What you would okay. pay in a restaurant for this oh, would yeah. pay for the pan. I, it's, right. it's, it's ridiculous, and, and you know, we're not doing we're not doing brain surgery. We're not doing anything complicated, guys. We're simply allowing the cookware almost to help us become better cooks. Okay, and that's the key. The same way we were talking about sharp knives, you have to have the right tools. It's the number one thing. You know, if you're going to be a chef. What do chefs always get first? They go out and they get themselves a great set of knives, right? right? I see I see chefs all in my neighborhood down on the beach that are coming to work, and they all got their little their, kids, their little yeah, sachet yeah, thing, yeah. and they've got their knife kits, right? right? You need to do the same thing. The same reason an auto mechanic buys the right tools because it makes your job easier and it makes your performance better. It's very, very simple. It's not complicated. Invest in really good tools and you'll reap the rewards every time. And, and not only that, when, with cast iron, I like how cast iron makes me feel. 
I, I, no. You know what I mean? Like, Makes because I know my, my, grand, my grandmother cooked in cast iron. My mom had like one or two cast iron pans. It's funny how it slowly got, went away because modern cookware was all about, oh, do it fast, do it quick and make sure. it easy to clean. And, right. and we lost that. Well, Culture, I also, like, you people, know? like a lot of times on, on social media and stuff, people will say to me, Yummy. you know, uh, what's your favorite crock pot recipe? This is, I don't use a, you could, the things that you could do in a crock pot is all the things that, that our parents and grandparents used to do in cast iron, cast enamel. Because yeah. you could put yeah. it in a stove so for several hours and let it go and let it cook and get all those aromas and that deep caramelization, which you can't get in that kind of pan. And then you could present it too. Try unplugging a crock pot, sit yeah. it on the table and seeing how your it's guests feel about pretty. that. It's just not Don't as beautiful, it. but you could go right to the table with yeah. this and you have all the history. You know, the, the, the cast iron pans that we have have been passed down from our grandparents to our parents to us and when you buy a set of cookware like this you could do the same thing this isn't yeah. just a lifetime cookware this is generational cookware that you pass on to your kids they pass on to their kids and really the, it's the stories and everything that come with well, it. well I also mm -hmm. think at this price because it's such a grand deal that I mean it, this would make you know like if you, you were going to a housewarming party you know, you could take this, like that could be a gift. Like oh, you make yeah. you make something oh, in yeah. this pan and, leave them and take it to someone's yeah. house, you will be their best friend forever. I'm yeah. taking, like, it's a, I'm taking it's the pan crazy. home. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's crazy. It's remarkable, because I've, you I'm know, ca cast iron, like we said, it, it lasts virtually forever. Uh, you know, we always say, oh, it's got the one year warranty. You're gonna have this for years and years and years, and you're gonna love it. And and it'll be they'll, it'll be some of your go-to cookware, you know? You know, sure. especially with things that you need to bake. I, I no longer have like bakeware. I use my cast iron enamel to bake everything because I can do all those so dishes true. in right. there and yeah. serve yeah. in them. Well, that's the thing. It and goes from cool. savory to sweet to everything. Yeah. Savory, sweet to tabletop. Look at the look it, at those potatoes, though. Oh, my gosh. Look, look at the scalloped potatoes. potatoes. Look at Here's a little mac and cheese. Oh, you're, you looking are a little you're, gonna, you're gonna You're looking you're a little thin. Well, and there's some nice vegetable on there, too. Did you, did you, did you get the green bean? Is it still hot? Is it still completely hot? It's really hot. Yeah. yeah. But I, <laughs> I don't care. I'll take the third degree burns to get the mac and cheese down there. That is so good. It's ridiculous. All right. You want to get this set. $99.95. $40 off today. Remember, with an h and credit card, a new one, take another $20 off. Make it $79. If you just need one piece or two pieces, gift the other piece. Give one to your mom or give one to your sister, your brother, whatever. Because remember, it's a, it's a wonderful gift to give to people as well. You have it on FlexPay, $19.99. And then remember, you get extra flex on h and credit card. Really quick, just want to mention our Try Me piece, which we started out with.